Right, mm -hmm. as you are ready, let's come to a standing position. And standing in a parallel feet, we are going to begin the class with some beautiful standing roll downs. So go ahead, have your feet planted, grounded on the floor, toes are spreading out like a duck web. And I want you to feel the feet anchoring down to the ground. And as you do that, in an opposition energy, lifting up the spine, allowing you to elongate the body, nice and tall, towards the sky. The arms are just going to drape down by your side and take an in breath. And as you exhale, set the lower abdominal, the deep abdominal, connect it into your spine. And then as you breathe out, go ahead and start nodding the head down. We are going to articulate the spine, drawing the abdominal to support the spine, articulating down, expanding the spine, uh, lengthening, bringing the rib cage wide to the side. And as your body rolls past your lower spine, softening through the knee and still have the lower abdominal supporting your spine. Now, your hands may touch the floor. So go ahead and bend the knees, go into a dip squat, wherever the squat takes you. And then go ahead and extend the legs up again. Ready the lower abdominal, lifting up to your sacrum and roll up the spine up, bone by bone. Take it slow and come up to a standing position. Two more times, breathe in. Breathe out, head nodding, and the spine, the upper back flexes forward. And again, you're articulating the whole body. Try not to miss any joint in the spinal column. Softening the knee as you pass that lower spine, tipping the pelvis forward, hands touches the floor. Go into your deep squat. And then extending the legs up, lifting the lower abdominal, supporting the sacrum and the lower spine. And then go ahead and roll the spine back up again. Let the arms drip. Let them be easy. Hold no tension. And up tall. One more time. Breath in. And exhale. As you continue to do your roll down, feeling the spine starting to open. Feeling the blood starting to circulate better. Softening through the knee as the lower spine, as you pass the lower spine. And then go into a deep fold or deep squat. And extending the legs, pulling up the kneecap up to the pelvis. Ready the lower abdominals and roll up the spine. Nice and tall. And allow the breath to create more space, more length through the spine. Left arm comes up and over to a lateral flexion or side bending to your right. And then bring it back up again. We lift and side bending over. We lengthen and we bring it up again. We lift. And side bend over and come back up again. Now we lift and side bend over and let's stay here as you breathe out. The bottom arm will lift and lower and lift and lower and lift. And lower, bring the top arm up, take it down, and allow the arm to bring the whole body upright. All right, let's go the other arm up. We create length as we inhale. And we take our body over. And we bring it back up. Again, we lift. And over, side bending. I want you to think about opening the chest. So your back muscle is working here. And we want to avoid that slouchiness in the upper spine as we go into a lateral bend, a lateral stretch. And bring it back up. 
Again, in breath, over. And as you exhale, the bottom arm comes up and lower. The bottom arm will reach nice and long, lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. Stay. The top arm will come up. Bring it down and then allow that arm to ripple yourself up. Let's take the other arm up again. Over to your right. Bring the bottom arm up as you exhale. Now here, anchor your feet. Sway the pelvis away towards the left. And bring it back over the ankle. Again, sway, reach. Exhale, center. Reach the arm low and sway in breath. Exhale, center. And two more. Feeling the stretch intensify on the outer side of the body here. And come back, bottom arm down, top arm up. Take it down, ripple the spine back up. All right, let's go to the other side. Take it up and side bending. Exhale, bottom arm up, and inhale, sway, reach, exhale. Lengthen the arm as the pelvis lengthen away or sway away from you. Exhale. Again, in breath. Exhale, again, feeling the stretch intensify on the outside, the right side of the body. And back, two more. Reach in breath, exhale. Last one, reach, exhale. Bottom arm comes down, top arm up. Bring it down and allow that to ripple the body up. Good work. All right, let's transition ourselves to the ground. Let's sit facing the front of the mat. Forward facing. And let's get ready for a roll like a ball. So let's bend the knees and grab the ankle, grab the leg just above the ankle bone. Right, pointing feet, drop the elbows down, get to that C curve position here. Right, nice and long in a curve or a flexion. And let's go. We roll back to the shoulder and come back upward. In breath and exhale. In breath and exhale. And in breath and exhale. You roll into the shoulder. You keep the head off the floor and the neck off the floor. And exhale. Two more. Last. Good job. Place your feet down. All right, then just readjust the position. Have your feet a little bit wider. We are going to do a little sit to keep roll here. Now, hands behind you. Chest is open. The feet can go as wide as your mat. We're going to drop the leg over towards the right and then bring it back in. Drop the leg over to the left and then bring it back center. And we draw and center. Lengthening the spine, reaching away from the floor. One more each side. And center. And drop. And center. Now let's go rotate over towards me here. Now this back arm is going to swing away diagonally and swing down. And a swing away in breath. Exhale. And in breath. Two more. In breath. The last one. In breath. We stay. Now here we're going to go into a flexion, rounding the back. Inhale, reaching up again. Exhale, into that C curve, rounding the back, using abdominal. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. In breath. Two more. Exhale. 
in breath. Last one, exhale. In breath. Now from here, we're going to reach the arm up to the sky, arch your body, and bring it back to center. Over to the other side. The back arm will sweep across diagonally. And then down. In breath, reach, swing diagonally up. And then back. And reach diagonally up. And then back. And two more. Last one, reach. And stay. Now here, pulling back into the seek of rounding the back. And lift. Exhale, pulling from abdominal. The arm is just going to follow your spine. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Two more. In breath. Last one. In breath. Now here, we're going to take the arm up, arch over, bring it down and swing over to the other side, across and arch up and bring it down. Again, swing across, reach and arch up into extension and bring it down. Again, one more each side, reach, arch up, bring it down. Last one, reach. And bring it down. Good job. All right. Cross the leg. Go into a quadruped position. We are going to do Corinne. Corinne Gardner Gunter Cat. So here we are. We're going to go into a quadruped position. All right. Now from here, we are going to draw the lower abdominal up into your flexion as you breathe out. Inhale. We're going to stay here and breathe and expand the rib cage and the lower spine. Exhale. We're going to sit the pelvis towards the heel. And then release the pelvis and the spine into a flat back or neutral position. Bring the shoulder over the wrist. And now I'm going to extend the spine here. And then bring it back to your start. Flat back position. Lower abdominals, rounding the spine, holding an inhale, expand the ribs, expand the back, exhale, sitting the heels down, sitting the pelvis towards the heels, letting off the spine into a neutral spine, bring the shoulder over your wrist and allow the upper spine to arch up and center, exhale, flexion. Hold an in-breath, expand the ribs and the lower spine. Exhale, sit the pelvis to your heels. And release the pelvis, stick the bum up, extend the spine. Forward and up, two more. And exhale, rounding into flexion, hold an in-breath, breathe to the ribs, breathe to the spine. Exhale, sit the pelvis down to your heels. Release the pelvis and the spine. Bring the body over your knees and your wrists. Extend the upper spine. One more time. Exhale. Rounding. I just missed it. Hang on. Exhale. Rounding. I went two steps too quickly. Inhale. Expand the ribs and the lower spine. Sideways. And exhale, sit the pelvis down to the heels. Release the pelvis, release the chest. Bring the body over, extend the upper spine. Right now, let's go into a different one. We're going to round the back again. Inhale, hold. And then exhale, sit back. Now here, you're going to let go of the arm. We're going to roll the spine up. Lift the body upward, take the arms up here, bring the pelvis slightly forward and then I want you to expand the spine, drop the arms and come back to your quadruped position. We exhale, we round, we inhale, hold, 
we exhale, sit back. We roll the spine up, pelvis forward, arms up, arch, open the chest, bring the arms down and come back to your quadruped. Again, exhale, round back, inhale, hold and breathe through the ribs and expand the lower spine. Exhale, sit back to the heels, rolling the spine, Lifting the arms, arch up, open back one more time onto the quadruped and C curve. Inhale, exhale, sit back, roll it up, open the arms, arch back and relax. Good job. Let me know how your body feels at the end of the class. You did an amazing job. It was so lovely to move with you today. And I'll see you back tomorrow for another class. Have the best day ever. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my 7 day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day.